Hey guys, welcome to my students channel, or if you're watching this on my own personal channel, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. So in this video, I'm going to be going over some top tips I can give on how to tackle university nerves or anxiety. Quickly before I jump into this, take all my advice with a grain of salt because I'm not a professional mental health expert. I haven't got as much education on this as I should. Just keep that in mind when dealing with anxiety because I've never experienced it. Just don't, don't take my advice too literally. Seek professional help if you're suffering a lot. Let's jump right into this video with the first tip. One of the best things to remember is that everyone at university when they're starting is in the exact same boat. So everyone's gonna be nervous. Everyone's gonna be worried about how many friends they're gonna make or what's gonna happen. You know, it's just, you're all in the same boat regardless of your age or your popularity before university. All of that is completely out the window, whether you're popular or not in sick form or college. And it's a completely natural reaction to feel nervous to uni. It's a massive change in your life. It's gonna be a completely different experience that you've ever had before. Try to embrace the nervousness and try and turn it into excitement. I know it's a really like bold and brief statement, but just <laughs> just don't be nervous. It's, that's not the worst thing to give. Try to turn these nerves or worries into curiosity and excitement for your first year. That's what a lot of people online said that helps, so might be useful to you guys. Being nervous is all part of the university experience. Everyone's gonna experience it at least one point in their freshers. So don't feel like you're the only one that's going through it. And if you do feel like that, talk to people about your feelings. Not, not saying go and talk to your new flatmates how nervous you are. Talk to your family, talk to your friends, people who are going to uni in the same year as you just say, look, I'm a bit nervous. Usually the other people in the year that are going will feel nervous as well. So you can talk to them about it and discuss your thoughts and your worries. If you feel like you've got a lot of pressure on yourself for uni from your family or your parents or any of that, just remember that universities aren't all filled with brainiacs. You don't have to be like a top tier student A star to be able to get into university. It doesn't mean they're gonna be destined for success because there are still a lot of university students that forget to show up to lectures or seminars because they are still drunk from last night or probably haven't been to sleep yet. So I had a whole focus on this in my advice refreshers video. Prep work for uni is one of the biggest things to make you feel less nervous. So whether that's learning how to cook, learning how to fend for yourself, whether it's doing your own washing, ironing your clothes, I don't know, cleaning after yourself. Do some background reading on your course if that's being supplied to you. It's not gonna hurt. Um, I didn't have any I could do, but a lot of courses do have a bit of stuff you can do before you actually start the course to help you get better understanding of everything. So do that, feel like you need to. Knowing that you're somewhat prepared will make you feel more in control, which will again make you less nervous. And your university experience will be what you make it. So one of the biggest, well, not probably one of the most significant quotes I've heard about if you choose to be nervous and you choose to be isolated, then that's what university experience would be like. It'll be boring. If you push yourself, seek discomfort, get out of your comfort zone, go and do stuff you wouldn't usually do, be fun, be daring, and that's what you'll make of your four year or three year course at uni. So yes, remind yourself why you want to start university. Hopefully you applied to university because it's something you feel passionate about. If you don't feel passionate about the subject you're studying, reconsider your options. That's what I want to say. If you're applying for university, it's such a huge pain in the backside. But trust me, all of this hassle and the personal statement writing, all of that will be so worth it in the end, trust me. So there's a difference between dreading university and being nervous about starting university. If you only applied for a course because you feel like your parents have pressurized you into doing that, or you're only doing that to please your parents, or anyone at all to be honest, I'd highly recommend reconsidering your options, talking to someone that you know and you can trust and see if you can find a solution to that issue. It's not worth going and getting in student debt and going to live somewhere else if you don't actually feel passionate about what you're doing or studying every single week, every single week of the academic year. So yes, spend as much time as you can with the people that you love and you enjoy being around before you travel off to somewhere completely different in the country to go and live there for three years, four years, however long your course is. It'll be so good for your mental health and it'll be nice to not 
make the most of the last moments, but kind of catch up with those people that you haven't seen in a while and just remind each other that you actually do enjoy being each other's company before you go off. And it'd be a nice way to kind of see off your friends. And then when you all reunite, it'll be such a nice experience. Anyway, back on track. Seeing those people, they remind you that there are people who support you. They want the best for you on your university journey. Naturally, you want to spend time with these people before you're moving away. If it's people in the same year as you, people that are going to uni this year as well, if you all meet up, you can discuss your thoughts, your worries, your excitement. My brother's doing really loud. You can all just discuss your excitement to being at university. Yeah, dealing with stress. So you should work out what aspect of university is actually making you feel nervous and what's making you stressed. See if you can change those circumstances to ease the pressure on yourself. Whether that's I don't know, being nervous about making money or living comfortably you can talk to whoever supporting you financially and you know check up your student loan if you're nervous you won't make, make you won't be living comfortably then look into what jobs you can get while you're down there or look into what money you can make now before you go 100 percent avoid comparing yourself to others that's one of the worst things to do i do all the time it's awful we shouldn't do it but we just do it naturally so if you try your best to avoid comparing yourself to other people then you'll feel more relaxed you won't feel like you have to constantly get everything right and be successful. If you're like me, you're the first in your family to go to university. First in your close family, of course, I had other people but years, uh, generations ago that did, but people who are family alive right now, I'm the first one to go. So you might feel more pressure to succeed. You might have nobody in the family that knows how to react to you or emphasize or understand what you're going through if you've got any issues or give advice to you. But if that's the case, talk to people that you know that are going to university, people that you know already that are at university. If you don't, drop me a message, drop me whatever. All my socials in the description. I'm happy to help anyone at all if these videos don't give you enough. This is another big thing. Don't go home if you're hurting university. Don't go home if you feel like you're upset because that's the worst thing you can do. If you feel like you're lonely, then going home is the worst thing because you're just driving potential friends away because you're missing out the opportunity to actually meet these people. So stick it out for as long as you can. If it's really not worth it, then again, put someone you know and can trust who can help you sort out your uh, issues. You've got the typical things for stress where it's like just go and exercise or eat healthily or do something that you enjoy. Hopefully you're going to be doing all of those at university. It's a natural reaction. Everyone has it. If you get it severely, then I don't know, speak to a professional. See if you can get you know, some help with that. Again, everyone says it. It will all just be fine in the end. You'll get to university and you'll be like, why was I so nervous? Why was I so stressed out about this? Because it's hopefully, and it usually does, go smoothly. get excited it's university it will be the most fun four years of your life i've only finished my first year and i've never been happier i thought i was live loving life at the end of year 13 or the end of your gcse's but you get to uni and it's like so much freedom i just i enjoy being in my own space with people i like of course having that freedom away from your parents and just being able to live life like an adult so nowadays it's really easy to connect with people so if you can find out go on Instagram, Facebook, and try and connect with your future flatmates or any potential course mates. I think everyone else will be trying to do the same thing, trying to know someone uh, and help them feel more at ease. So if you can do that, great. And remember, it's impossible to not make friends at university unless you choose to kind of just hide away in your room. You don't have to go out of your way to do it. If you just go to uni every day, do your own thing, you will make friends, it's just guaranteed to happen. If you really want to, someone said this online, I didn't do this personally, but organize to meet someone um, on your course before your first lecture, so you can like walk in together and sit together. I didn't do this personally, it just didn't come to mind. But if you wanna do that, then I don't see why the person would be against it. Research your first and second choice unis, see what events they hold, see what societies they offer. You know, it's good to get a little bit of understanding before you go. This is what this is one thing I love to do, is just make a wish list of things that you want to buy for your new bedroom, your new kitchen, your bathroom. It's exciting to have some sort of customization as well. Plan some meals you want to make, so that will help you kind of not get into the groove of just eating pasta and sauce every night, because I've seen the effects of that. Boring food makes you feel Board. University is a fresh start, so you can be whoever you want to be at all. If you're going without anyone you know previously, of course, it's time to reinvent yourself. You can become somebody you've always wanted to be. You haven't got the pressure of A-levels or people in your year group anymore. So this is something that I love to do, and I did actually do this quite a lot, but watch some university or college 
TV shows and films. Um, some of my favourites are Everybody Wants Some, Dear White People, Boyhood, great, super bad, <laughs> Post of Being a Wolf Hour, and Ladybird. These are all like college, university based films, and they're all brilliant. And if you have Spotify or Apple Music or anything like that, then I recommend making playlists for different occasions. Just something you can do whilst you're at home. I think it's quite exciting. So make a study playlist or a party playlist or a room ambience chill playlist or maybe some music you want to play when you're moving in so your flatmates can maybe listen to that and find some similarities. I'm, I'm just, this is all I've seen online. I didn't do all of this myself, but it might be useful for some people. So yes. Now, this is my own experience at university and how I dealt with nerves or stress, but didn't suffer from anxiety or depression or anything. So again, keep that in mind. Uh, so I didn't actually know what to expect when I went to university. My lack of research definitely helped with that. For some reason, what I think about it now, the whole process of applying and moving in and the build up to university was just kind of a blur to me, if I'm fully honest. I went to the Bournemouth University twice um, for open days, but it didn't really settle in. I was moving out and my parents were really confused but I just didn't seem bothered by it you know I don't know maybe that's just me but that's what happened my lack of research definitely helped prevent anxiety or anything like that because I wasn't expecting anything um it worked in my case but I don't recommend doing that because you want to be prepared and I'm making a whole video on how to be prepared for freshers uh, but yeah I've never been so happy and so comfortable living university and it's honestly never want to leave but when I do leave it was always nice to come home but then after two days I want to be back there again I've spoken to a few people that are going to university this year and they have a very different applying processes to me. I was able, when Bournemouth gave me my condition, I was able to choose my accommodation early and I was able to like reserve a room. So I was able to kind of like pick and choose everything I wanted, like what building I was in, room I had, floor, whatever. Um, and I was able to see my flatmates kind of character descriptions, profile descriptions before I met them and they left their Instagram at in their descriptions. Um, and so that's how I spoke to them first. Some people won't be able to speak to their flatmates before moving in. They're gonna be selected or applied at random. So I can't really give any advice for that one other than to just to be excited and curious who you're gonna be sharing a living space with. Reinvent yourself 100% if you feel like you need to. I made use of that. I definitely became a better person at university and that was thanks to being around people that didn't have recollections of my past self. Reinvent yourself, but always stay true to yourself. If you go to uni and become a completely different person, when you come home, your friends might be a bit like, who's this new person, you know? And so you don't wanna put on an act because that doesn't work. People always get caught out. So just be true to yourself and be happy. And just, if you need to do it, then feel free. This is the end of my video. Uh, I feel like I spoke really quickly through it, but I, don't know, I felt like I was trying to cover a lot of stuff in as little duration as I could. But these are some of my top tips for tackling university nerves. If you find this useful um, or enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to, comment if you need to, check out my own personal channel if you're not already on it. Um, there's more stuff on there to come. I plan to do a whole university freshers uh, survival kit sort of thing and I have that on a mix of podcasts, YouTube, Instagram, all of that. Because I, I want to make content which I wish I had before starting university. If you enjoyed this one, do what I just said, comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. If you need more help or you want to hear more, shoot me a message on Instagram or Twitter or whatever or Snapchat, all of that, um, or send me an email. I hope everyone's looking forward to starting university again. I genuinely, I cannot wait to be back there. Love being at home, love being with the dogs, but something about living on my own and with my best friends is it's amazing. So I will see everyone in the next video and remember to stay happy, stay healthy, take care. Cheers. Wow.